Pumpkin. I usually don't do these uh, guitar pick things anymore, but um, a friend of mine named Andrew Pryor came over and listened to the Alarm album, and he gave me a Wind Spear pick. Um, I'll show you what it looks like in context to a um, Altex Jazz 3, which is my main pick. Now, I've showed you these before, and I've talked about them before. That's, that's an Altex Jazz 3. Okay, up with the... Um, so it's a little bit bigger than a Jazz 3. In fact, you'll see a white border. So it's a little bit bigger. Now, what I want you to check out is how it kind of starts thick and goes in. And I believe there's a beveled edge. And I don't know which is the leading edge. Uh, I'll, just, I'll just try it one way. If I don't like it, you just flip the pick around to the other way. Um, I never use this but I've had it for probably over a year now. I'm on a, and it's, the point on it is pretty brutal, so you gotta be pretty exact. Not that you don't have to with, with a, uh, the Ultex Jazz 3. I do like the way these feel. These, these for me are home, but every now and then you gotta travel away from home, and if a friend gives you a pick, you gotta try it out. I don't know which one it is. I'll put, all, I'll put their details below in a pinned comment. But that's what it looks like. I don't know the thickness. I don't know anything. I do know that it's it's fairly brutal. And um, I don't think it's really wore away. Not that I, like I said, not that I play it a lot, but there's not a lot of wear and tear. The only thing that might be wearing is a bit of the ink on the actual pick. But that's, that don't mean nothing. That's rock and roll. So I'm gonna try it on this guitar here. Uh, I just put new strings on at 9 to 42. I'll play some quickly picked stuff. Uh, I'll play some power chordy stuff. And um, I'll give you my opinion as if you need that. I like the pick a lot. I'm not used to it, which probably means I'd have to buy more of these and get used to them, but um, it's pretty badass. I don't think I'm used to how straight it is on the on the edges here. Um, and that tip is just, it's sharp as. So, I mean, if you're gonna do it, get, get three of them, you know? And, uh, you know, don't lose them. I'm notorious for losing, I don't know, everything. But, uh, you know, like I said, I, I always go back to these. Uh, yeah, this actually feels a lot thinner. Yeah, this is a lot thinner and a lot lighter. Whereas 
This guy is physically heavy. This is what a construction worker would use if he had a pick, <laughs> not a big giant man-child like myself. And when I'm not using these, I still do like the yellow Altex, so I'll never go uh, straight from those as well. So here's what I'll do. I'm gonna put Wind Spear, check out their catalog, check out their website. Like I said, if you're gonna buy a couple, and no, they're not paying me to do this, that's, that's pretty badass. That is pretty devastating. Try it out, is all I'm gonna say. Um, I'm gonna keep working with this one. And you know what, when it comes to teaching, it looks great on a black guitar so you could see what the pick is actually doing. That's all, I love you. I will talk to you soon, bye.